With his third victory in the National and the manner of his doing it, Red Rum's become more than a national hero to Southport folk. They all backed him, of course, and they gave him a deafening welcome. They even turned out the local brass band. You'd think after four and a half miles and 30 odd huge fences, he'd be off for a good snooze. But later he was the guest of honour at a banquet at a local hotel. He behaved as he always does, with dignity. This morning he was a great deal brighter eyed than most of his two-legged partners who'd been celebrating the night through. Already the cards were arriving from well-wishers. There were more, but Red Rum's eaten them. He likes peppermints too. Bob Marshall, the farrier, gave him one for each hoof as he bent his knee to have his expensive racing shoes removed and a workaday set fitted. Then it was out into the morning sunlight with his lad, Billy Beardmore, who looks after him, ready for a walk through the streets. Already the locals had gathered at the gate of trainer Ginger McCain's tiny yard behind the car business. It's only a walk today, but he'll be back in three weeks' time in the Whitbread Gold Cup. John Parker, ITN, Southport.